Excel exercise 5 requires that you type the data shown in Excel exercise 5 sample A. Okay, so once you've typed the information in Excel exercise 5 sample A, it should look much like the data I've got here. After you've typed it, please um, save this, say, file save as, and save it either on your uh, three and a half floppy disk or your USB drive. Please save this document as SS5. Okay. Now uh, we're going to make some uh, changes to this document so that it looks like Excel exercise, exercise 5 sample B. So how do we do that? Well, first we have to move some cells around. So please select D4 to D11. D4 is here, D11 is here, so I want you to click and select the employee numbers. Okay. After you've done that, go up to Edit and click Cut. Now, then select cell A4 right here. Click in cell A4 and then go up to Insert and if you don't see cut cells, you may have to go down to the bottom and wait for the menu to expand, but you should be able to find cut cells. So you click insert, click cut cells, and basically those numbers we cut earlier have been pasted here. Okay. Now, your spreadsheet will now be left with an empty column right here. See, this stuff, this is an empty column. Um, what I want you to do is, I want you to click B. I put your cursor right over to B, click it once, and that selects the entire column. After you've selected the entire column, go to Edit, and go down to Delete, and that column disappears. Now, I want you to shift some rows around. You'll notice that the employee numbers are in the wrong order. Uh, for example, we want to move Jenny um, from one row to another. We want to move it above Bill Bruford, okay, because 23 should come before 45. So to do that, I want you to click here, click 8, and that selects the entire row. Okay. After you've done that, go up to Edit and Cut. And then I want you to click 7. That selects Bill Bruford's row. And I want you to go Insert, Cut Cells, and watch. I click cut, Insert Cut Cells. And now Jenny has switched places with Bill. Okay, She used to be below Bill. Now she's above Bill. Okay, the next thing I want you to do is employee number 56, Boris, doesn't need to be there. So you can click employee number uh, 56, click uh, row 11, and you can go edit delete. Okay, and that removes um, Boris. Now, we want to insert some additional employees. So, um, if you click 10, okay, highlight 10, and you go up to insert and rows, you'll notice that that inserts a new row in between Philip and Thomas. Okay, and all you have to do now is type in the missing information. Um, the missing employee is number 83. His last name is Thomas. First name is Hardy. And 
you can also type in that he is got no vacation time this year. Okay. Oh, I made a mistake. It should be Hardy is the last name. Thomas is the first name. Okay, now that you've got it, um, the data all sorted out, if you want, you can actually make column A a little bit smaller. And um, now yours looks like the sample book. Uh, again, I want you to go File, Save As, and this time I want you to just change the name, change it from SS5 to SS5B, just so that it's different from the original. Click Save, and you're done.